Now, ladies and gentlemen, so a few things we're going to do today. I teach a lot using celebrity case studies. These are people who are very rich, who are very famous, and they are born, of course, with golden numbers. Okay? Then, what we're going to do is that we're going to use the studies to educate us when we look at the parallel against our lives. Alright? Then I'm going to teach you how to use numbers to tell you about your own character. Isn't that fantastic? To tell you also about the character or personality of somebody who is so, so different from you. Okay, so we're going to do archetypes of numbers. Then what we're going to do is that we will also bring on numerology and astrology. We're going to discuss your elements. Okay. I'm going to draw similarities with Chinese metaphysics but only on a need to know basis because I'm not a Chinese metaphysics consultant and then we're going to take a look at events that happen in the celebrity's life that brings the fall of his or her fortune again to educate ourselves because whatever must go up what was that become down, right? So we talk about the rise and fall of our fortune, in other words. Okay, is that a good thing? And then also, we will take a look at the year in question. I'm going to teach you a prediction tool that will take, help you to look at the future and at the past as well. I'm going to leave you with golden numbers for this year. Okay, and then we will take questions and answers. In the midst of all this, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to stretch your legs and to visit the washroom. Would that be okay? Alright, so let's take a look at Michael Jackson. Let's take a look at his birth dates, shall we? So you find that Michael has got a, what we call a birth certificate name, and the birth certificate name is Michael Joseph Jackson. Okay, so you will find that in the numerology that I practice, which is Pythagorean numerology, Pythagoras is the father of modern numerology. As you well know, he's also the father, he's a great what? Mathematician, as well as, not many of you know this, he's a mystic. Okay, he actually founded his first school of magic and mysticism back in his hometown, and that's why he. He didn't die a, a nice death, yeah? So, in other words, we're going to make use of the name that you travel with. If you don't know what your legal name is, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at your passport. Your passport name will have to go into where? Your bank account. And that's going to affect you. Okay? We're not going to use your names that you use in the office or uh, what we call your nicknames because we don't do that, okay? And the reason why is because the Pythagorean system is used widely all over the world to give you very accurate readings of what we call name numerology. So as you can see, Michael comes with a birth name that says Michael Joseph Jackson. He's also known as Michael Joe Jackson. In other words, Joe is what? Maybe like a nickname. But is it useful? No, because we're not going to analyze that, okay? So he is born on the 29th of August, 1958 in Indiana, that's the US, yeah? And he died at age 50, and actually that was his swan song, eh? his swan uh, song project. And you find that with your birthday, we can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what you are best at using your in bond case. In other words, the best occupations, the best businesses for you. Okay, so let's take a look at this and if you have your paper, you will work this out together with me because I'm going to teach you the formula, yeah? So you will work with me. You notice that he's American, so what? What happens is that they start with month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. That's exactly how you fill in the form. But because we are in Malaysia, 
and I came from Singapore, and I'm supposed to use what we call the British system. That will be day, day, year, uh, day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. Now, the good news is that you don't have to worry because any way you use, whether you use the American way or the British way, it is the same calculation. Okay? So, as a Singaporean, I'm going to put this in front. 29, and we, you can help me to convert August into a numeral. So, August is what? Very good, thank you very much. Now, so 2 plus 9 will give you 11. This is 8. Okay? Uh, we are not going to reduce 11 because this is the formula. Okay? This is the golden ruler. And it's, that's why it's all mathematically driven. 11 is what we consider a master number, so we don't reduce master numbers. Okay? So remember that master numbers are anything that appears like what we call twin numbers 11, 22, 33, and 44. But more of that later. So we don't reduce this. I'd like you to remember to keep this as a compound number, okay? Because I'm using the ancient school. So what I'm doing is that I'm combining the modern school, which is 1 to 9. So 11 plus 8 will give you 19, isn't it? 1 plus 9 will give you 1. And we're going to live with... 1 plus 9 will give you 10. Uh, you throw away the 0, because 1 plus 0 will give you 1. Reason being that the first two steps we will live it as 1 to 9. Why? Because that's Pythagoras system. Why 9? Because there are only 9 planets in the universe. Simple, right? Okay. Then we come to the compound number. Compound numbers will be anything from 10, compound or double digit, yeah, all the way to 52. 52, why? Because there are 52 weeks in a in a what? In a year. Okay? So, 1 plus 10 will give you, sorry, 1 plus 9 will give you 10, 5 plus 10 it will give you 13, so this is 23. Remember, we are living this with compound number. So I bring the 1 over. Michael is 24. I'd like you to take a look at my book, Secrets of Golden Numbers, to find out the meaning of 24. We all have my book here. Yeah? So, so this is where the emoji comes in because all the numbers have got a meaning to it. Okay? Okay, so turn to the page where you have all the numbers, yeah? Very good. It's on page 19. Isn't that coincidental? This is page 19. Yep. And you'll find that this number will give you help of what? People who are rich, who are powerful. Okay, 24. I'd like you to know that 24 will bring you noble man luck. Noble man luck. In Chinese, if you're Chinese, a Chinese metaphysics consultant will tell you is what we call Kui in Britain. In a noble man. Okay? So if you are born under 24, good news for you. You have that in your life already. You have people assisting you from behind. You are rich and powerful and you are noble man. Hmm? Okay? Now, the reason why I got you to watch the video is that I'd like you to go a bit deeper because you find that Michael Jackson is very much a very detailed person. How do we know that, ladies and gentlemen? Look at the four. Look at the four. The four gives attention to detail. So if you are born on the four, the thirteen, the thirty-first, twenty-two, you are a four, yeah? And you are like that, okay? And you tend to like to control things. So you notice in the video, what was he doing? He was what? Directing, right? He directed that, you know? It's all orchestrated, yeah? And then you notice that he likes to work with a lot of people. How do we know that? Ladies and gentlemen, look at the two. When you have two in your birth date and it adds up to an even number, two, four, six, that makes you a team player. Isn't that fantastic? Team player. So he works, you notice that he works with a lot of people. His productions are very big budget. 
chose a lot of money. Okay. And hi. <laughs> That's the reporter from the start. And you find that if you are born at 29, how many of you are born at 29? 29? Show of hands. Well, very good, huh? You can do this work, you know. 29 or 11 is the number of a psyche. <laughs> so you notice that the video that I chose, this being a university, are very careful. I'm not going to show you those that makes him shake his hips, you know, what he's so famous for. You probably have not watched this one, okay? This was actually a poem that he composed because he felt very deeply for Mother Earth. He's a humanitarian, you know, he is like an earth angel. He really feels uh, that we were abusing the earth and he wants to tell us to stop doing that. So he actually does it to his soul. So you'll find that, you know, that is his occupation because if you are six, you have a natural ability to what? Have a year for music. So a lot of people, they make use of their voice. So a lot of the six, they end up in the teaching line. If you're 24 or 6 or 15, you are meant to go into education and training, entertainment, showbiz, because why you love a blog. Make sense? So with these numbers, can you see how useful it is? It helps you select the right occupation that you can embark on without you trying too hard. So that's a sure way to succeed, isn't it? So coming to that, I'd like to tell you that our meeting today is not an accident because some 10 to 15, 10 to 11 years ago, 11 years ago actually, when I first met my numerologist, he's already passed on his credit to my group. He said, you're meeting me, it's not an accident, within the first five minutes. Nothing in life is an accident or a coincidence, it's all meant to be. And if you were to come to a reader, you were to go to a reader, for example, a palmist, because I was actually looking for a palmist, I wasn't looking for a numerologist, because I didn't know what a numerology was all about. You know, I just want my palm red. You know, I just want to know what's the future, just like you. Okay, so this is how it works. If we give a reader, the left hand, this is the fake hand. If you, and it doesn't change. So in other words, this is the birth date you come born with. You know, birth date will give you your what? Your gifts, this is what you already know. Okay, your birth date gives you your gifts that will prepare you for what? The best occupation. And you have also the right hand. The right hand is the improving hand. If today you find that you have no golden numbers, my suggestion to you is to perhaps consider changing your own name. Okay? Which is what we're going to talk a little bit about in today's session as well. Now, if you come into life with golden numbers, that's already 50% of the battle one. Can you see where it's coming from? Easily you can put that into your pocket because you're already born with golden numbers. And a lot of you are here because we have golden numbers. How do I know? I prepared seven reports, there were supposed to be ten. Um, and they all, they all have golden numbers. Okay? And if you don't have golden numbers, don't worry. I'm going to give you tips, I'm going to give you uh, remedies, how you can bring it on. Okay? And this is where you use the other 50% to improve your life. Okay? Just like this chat. Okay? He doesn't need to because he's got golden numbers already. So, in today's session, whenever you see philanthropies on my slides, you must know that I'm referring to somebody who's very wealthy, who's able to give back to society. So if you're more than 24, you will have wealth potential. Okay? If you're born with a golden number at all, you will have your wealth potential is already there. You don't have to worry. Okay? And usually they believe in giving back. You know, if you understand how the law of economics work, you know, in a recession, you're not supposed to tighten your waist, you're supposed to, supposed to spend. It's all about an energy, yeah? So when you spend, when you give, you will what? Receive. <coughs> Agree? When you ask, you will seek. When the student ready, the teacher appears.